Out of the USA, this Christian wants you to know exactly what gay men do in the bedroom. Um, Andrew Bizad is an anti-LGBTQ conservative Christian who wrote a long and barely coherent rant against homosexuality that includes a graphic <laughs> depiction of the colorectal regions um, of gay men. He wrote, and quote, it is not a simple accident as to why adult diapers have exploded in popularity, and it's not because of the generally aging population alone, but because of the LGBT, since due to their abuse of their colorectal regions, what they turned from being an exit only into their tunnel, they, they turned what, what is supposed what? to be an exit only into their tunnel for hedonistic pleasure door, right? right. Um, that is oh. now permanently opened for thin muscles, blah, blah, blah. So basically, this, this ultra-conservative Christian is blaming the LGBT community for causing an explosion in diaper sales. He, d he knows straight people have anal sex, right? I, I guess he doesn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if this guy's ever had sex. Who knows? Um, at all. So, uh, yeah, I mean, like, this, it's, it's very common, definitely outside of the LGBT um, realm See? of sex. I don't know. I don't get is it. Is he okay with lesbians then? <laughs> I don't know why is he, why is this guy being covered? Is he important? Is he a big? Does he have big followers? Or is he just being ridiculous? And we... it's it's just that he's ridiculous. That's okay. why uh, he ever gets coverage. Mm -hmm. Anyone who's anti LGBT right now, um, especially if they're a conservative Christian, um, they tend to get a lot of coverage due to outrage. What I wish we would do is just stop. You know, let's. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Why is this even news? Someone said something stupid on the internet. Oh, I mean, it's, it's funny. I, it's, it's good to sometimes have a break from serious news and it, it is yeah. it is but what I'm saying is we can't we can't give attention and actually somebody else ranted on this later and in, in some news that we're gonna write we can't give attention to every single person who says something bad because all, the, all they want is attention and we're giving it to them some things need to be I called mean, out I, I but think seriously I, I saying that diaper sales are booming <sighs> come on yeah I mean yeah. it's okay I think it's okay to give them attention because they're helping us. Um, embarrass their religion, right? So I mean, it's you know, if they if they want the attention, there you go. Um, you're you're helping our cause to show what religious bigotry looks like, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. And the name of their religion when they say it, that is very true. Right. Uh, Shane is saying, I don't really care to know what anyone does in their bedroom. Thanks. Um, I mean, I, I is why why is that? Okay, I don't think that's an interesting defense of the. LGBT, okay? Because what? What I could? What if I'm interested? What if I want to know? Does that? But I'm not anti-LGBT, okay? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, right? What if I'm pro-LGBT, but I'm also curious? So like, hey, how does this work, right? How, right? So I don't understand. Like people say, oh, I don't care what people do in their bedrooms. I don't. There's nothing wrong if you do care. Uh, Jeff is saying, and this has relevance because, well, because it's interesting and because people have, um, look, there has 202 comments. So we don't have to, if you're, it's, it's so, people like complain about why this has relevance because, well, then why did you comment? It, well, here's why they comment, <laughs> for virtue signaling, and that's what I'm sick of, and that's what I'm talking about, is a lot of people who otherwise would do nothing for the LGBT community sit here on Facebook, they see this, and they're like, I'm going to get on there and tell them how much I love gays. Well, then, then get out in your community and love gays. Like, do something. But it's the virtue signaling that sickens no, me. But, in all no, but uh, my, my question is to people that see a news on Facebook or Twitter or somewhere else that they don't think it's relevant, do they go out under each one of them and say, why is this relevant? I mean, there's a lot of news out there that I, I'm not interested. There are there's so much news out there that you could consume only a fraction of it, right? And I'm not interested. I'm interested to one person of the news that is out there because there's no way that we can consume all the news that is out there, right? But you know what I do to news that I don't find relevant? You move on. I move on. I don't consume them, <laughs> <laughs> right? So I, don't I, I the wish I had time. <laughs> I wish I had the time to tell every single news article. When I, right. about news. I don't go to. to I ridiculous. don't go find the ninety nine percent news that is not relevant to me and tell them like, oh, why is this relevant? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> just don't consume the news that is not relevant to you. How is that like? You if it, how, why did you have to uh, Jeff? Why did you if this you made it relevant to you? Why did you have to <laughs> come at and come and and now look, people are replying to you, and now bec you you're connected to a news and you're getting notifications on a news item that you didn't find relevant. You wasted your own time. Uh, Casey is saying, I guess I'll take one for the team and show him. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, uh, Beach is calling me a weirdo in the YouTube live chat. joking. We're all a little weird here. Yeah, I mean, it, you would be boring if you weren't a little bit weird. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.